In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of ideas in 3D Swim. Then we'll jump into a brand new community and I'll show you where you can customize the idea pipeline. So for starters, an idea is denoted by this light bulb icon on the left side of the post. And it's a special kind of post because the idea status is tracked using the idea pipeline. So for example, this post is currently in the new idea status. If I look at the one below, we can see that this one has been changed to the concept status and a comment has been left behind uh, when that change occurred. Now, the different statuses of concept, um, new idea, and the final one, project plan, can also be seen over here with the same color coding in our idea pipeline. Uh, I can see this by filtering on ideas using this icon in the upper right corner. When I hover over each of these circles, each one represents a post in this community, and we can see where it stands um, in the idea pipeline. I can also click to see more, and we can get a high-level overview of each of the ideas, and even if an idea is out. These three statuses, new idea, concept, and project plan, as well as their colors, are the default statuses for ideas in 3D Swim. Let's take a look at a brand new community and I'll show you how these uh, options can be customized. Here in this new community, I'm going to go to the settings in the upper right corner. And on this page, we see that same uh, idea pipeline. I'll change the colors and status descriptions and add a few extra statuses here as well. All right, the idea statuses and their colors have been customized. There's another setting in the community settings that I want to point out, which is community features. So um, from here, you can determine what kinds of posts will be allowed in your community. Um, post will always be enabled. That's just simple you know, text and images. Um, but I can turn off the capability for questions, surveys, wikis, and tasks um, so that all that's left is the ability to create ideas. Additionally, you can specify whether contributors can make certain kinds of posts uh, because typically only authors can generate new posts. So maybe we'll just let contributors make posts, but authors are the only ones who can make ideas. We'll save our changes. Now let's head back to the community and create a new idea. I'll click add an idea to start my post. After posting an idea, I can click on the post and I can see where it sits in the timeline. Um, if I want to change the status, I can push it to the next state. And that'll leave behind a comment with some extra context for my team. And remember, you can always filter by ideas here to see where your ideas are in the pipeline. <laughs> 